Hey guys, Russian Ghost here, and in this video we are going to be looking at a virtual stream deck application called Touch Portal and how to set it up and get it running for streaming. You may be wondering, what is Touch Portal? Well, in simple terms, Touch Portal is an application that allows you to control your computer using a mobile device such as a tablet or a smartphone. Some of its features are multi-action macro buttons which allows you to execute several actions with one press of a button, customize buttons with icons, colors, and text. This application can be integrated with almost other applications running on your PC. There's a few things we'll need before we actually get Touch Portal up and running are going to be Touch Portal software, OBS WebSocket plugin, and the mobile application. Let's go ahead and download Touch Portal and our OBS WebSocket plugin. So we'll head over to touchportal.com and on the main page we'll click on download which will take us to the download section and we're going to click on Windows since we are using Windows. We'll click on start download for us. And we'll wait until this is finished. Now that we have Touch Portal downloaded, let's go ahead and download OBS WebSocket from the obsproject.com. We'll click on download again and we'll scroll down and we'll grab the exe installation format. Start download. Great. Now that we have both of these downloaded, let's go into our download folder and we'll install OBS WebSocket first. First thing we're going to want to do is click on next. I'm going to install we're going to install OBS WebSocket plugin within its default folder, which is in OBS Studio. Click Next. Yes. Next. Install. Finish. Now let's go ahead and install Touch Portal. We'll accept. Click Next. 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 And install. Upon completion of installing Touch Portal, it may ask you to restart your computer. So let's go right ahead and restart our computer. Now that we have Touch Portal and OBS WebSocket plugin installed, I'll go ahead and show you where you can find the WebSocket plugin located within OBS. So as you can see, within OBS, you can click on Tools, and it should be the last one at the bottom, which says WebSocket Server Settings. Simply click on that, and by default, these options are going to be enabled with a default server port number. You can change it if you like, but I'm going to go ahead and leave mine as the default. As because when you launch Touch Portal, these are the default settings that will also be in there. Great, so with that out of the way, let's launch Touch Portal for the very first time. Upon launching Touch Portal for the first time, you may get a message asking if you want to update. You should always keep your Touch Portal up to date. So we're going to update this one. While this is updating, I'll take the time to tell you that you may experience some connectivity issue and this can be easily resolved with these three simple steps. First thing you'll want to do is go into control panel and click on Java and update your Java. That is one. Two, if you have an antivirus installed, I highly advise that you go into your antivirus and allow Touch Portal to access the network. Third thing, go into your Windows firewall and click on advanced settings and for inbound and outbound rules you'll want to allow touch portal to also access your network once you have all these sorted out let's continue we'll click ok and the first thing you'll be greeted with is to select your language i am going to select english second screen you'll be greeted with a list of applications you can have buttons pre-configured for you for this tutorial we will be doing obs but if you like you can select empty and start with a blank canvas. So let's go right ahead and click next. Always try to connect OBS when not connected. Yes, click next and we should be good to go. Right off the bat, you can see it says new WebSocket connection connected OBS Studio, which is what we're looking for. After Touch Portal is open, you will be greeted with a little brief tutorial, which we don't really need to see right now. Let's exit all of these. Finish. Awesome. Now you'll get to see the patch notes. Click OK and you're all done and ready to use Touch Portal. Now that we have Touch Portal running, let's go into our phone, visit the App Store and download Touch Portal. So we'll put the phone up on the screen. Here it is. And we're already in the App Store. 
We'll click on download for touch portal. It's gonna take a while. Let's let this complete. And when it's finished, we can launch it. Right away, you'll get this message and we'll just swipe. It's gonna scan our network. Also, your phone needs to be on the same network as your PC. Now, this screen that I'm seeing here, if you encounter this screen, there's an easy fix for this. What you can do is close touch portal on your phone and also on your PC. Then we'll relaunch it. We'll, we will relaunch touch portal first on the PC. And then we're going to open it on our phone and it's fixed. Now that we have touch portal on our phone and it's connected to the one on our desktop, let's have a look at what one of them do. Let's have a look at muting the audio. So, this seems to be an if statement with actions. What does it say? If this button state is off, set button state to on, on mute OBS source desktop audio. You can edit these if you like, and there should be an event for these also. Uh, basically, the events allow you to change the icons. So if you mute, you can have a symbol for when the audio is muted. You have when button state changes to on, change icon to on mute when the button state changes to off change icon to mute icon so let's see what this would actually look like let's bring the obs studio onto the main screen and let's see now i'm expecting to have this desktop audio muted so let's see if it will also reflect on our phone so i'm going to hit the mute now for desktop audio and you can see it's muted and it's also the icon also changed on our phone so let's try to unmute it again and see what happens there you go it works perfectly fine we hope you guys enjoyed the video thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification if you want to know when we post our next video also if you would like to see an advanced version of touch portal please let us know down in the comments below we can do one where we go in depth with touch portal and show you the ins and outs until then, see you guys next time.